If I don't get this answer right, I push this button. And I don't want to push this button, because if I do, this happens. Oh. Yeah, not fun. Well, let's get started. Earth is called a Goldilocks planet because A, the distance from the sun is just right for life, B, it has bears on it, C, scientists don't refer to Earth this way. That's just, that's a trick right there, because there are bears on the planet. But I do know that the Goldilocks zone is pretty much that you're not too hot, not too cold, as we all know from the Goldilocks tale. Is that where my brother's grim? Maybe. I have no idea. Just let me know if Chris Hensworth has ever played in a movie that kills Goldilocks or whatever. I honestly just want to say B, because technically it's right. I'm just saying B. That's bold. That is bold. It is a Goldilocks planet, and you know what? It does have bears on it. So I think I'm. Yeah, I don't want to push that button. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. 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 I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Oh. I'm more of a Red Riding Hood fan anyway. Its distance from the sun is just right for life. The Goldilocks planet falls within the star's habitable zone and is neither too close nor too far away from the sun to rule out the existence of liquid water on its surface. Liquid water is a key element in supporting life as we know it. So, there you go. Shut up, towel. Walk. 